Hey everyone, no response here. Hope you're having a grand week. So this video is going to be a bit of a deep dive into making junk walls. Uh, initially the plan was to just kind of show you some best practices and kind of how I achieved mine, because obviously for those of you who watch my videos quite regularly, you know that I absolutely love making junk walls. But then I decided to actually use it as an excuse to kind of make some completely new junk wall designs, which I've already blueprinted, so I'm actually quite satisfied with the stuff I'm going to show you. Um, just as an FYI, this does use lots of Atom Store stuff. I'll ultimately... If you've just got vanilla, it, there's not really much you could do um, because you are limited. You're kind of limiting your tool set quite exponentially. However, just to bear in mind that they do regularly cycle stuff back in and usually it's on available for about two to three weeks. So I wouldn't panic too much. But first, what I'm going to do before I actually get into the junk walls is just kind of use as an excuse to show how to make my little gateway thing that people are always asking about. Maybe because I show it in videos now and then. But it's usually as part of another video, and unless you happen to watch that one video, you don't know what I'm talking about. So this here is what I mean by my gateway. I can't place it down um, without actually snapping one of these forward. And you may notice if you watch my videos, I w literally always has this have this as my gateway because it's just the perfect little size. I can put a gate on it. I can put like barricades at the top. The whole thing just works. But you can't place it like that due to the rules. So what you have to do is you have to snap it to one of these. Uh, let's have it. Let's have it here like that. But obviously the issue you've got is that I can't take that off because another structure would not be accessible. So what you need to do, so I'm placing that where I actually want my gateway to be. Then I take one of these, and then I take one of these, and then I take them up here like this. Ooh. Ooh, it's been a bit naughty. Uh, it occasionally does this. It'll occasionally get some food, so you have to sort of do it backwards. There we go. It will occasionally get a little bit confused. But one thing you'll learn about this game, if you haven't played around with like techniques like this, is it's all about your build order. I right, just take the middle one out, then suddenly that one's freestyling. That sometimes happens. What that little error happened there where it's confused by either of them, you just have to kind of do it in another direction. But that's how you get those freestanding, and then you, I always just snap a railing on the top and then just put a blueprint on, but I'm not going to show you the blueprint yet because otherwise it will spoil some of the stuff I was going to show. Haha. <laughs> right, okay. So my bread and butter, with what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with simple junk walls and kind of a technique, and then I'm going to get them more complicated, okay? So it's going to start with, like, incredibly simple stuff, like what things make good junk walls, and then I've actually made some bespoke ones. So the bread and butter are actually the junk fences. Um, this pack right here, it's on sale fairly often. It comes with four different styles. Bit heartbreaking that it doesn't come with all of the stuff we had in Fallout 4, but that's just the, how they've been with 76. They just arbitrarily have decided to not give us uh, some of the other walls. And then I also use... Uh, um, up here, where are they? Am I going blind? I need a new prescription, honest to God. Ah, oh, it's this one. Here it is. So I use this uh, rusted chain link fence quite a little bit, a bit as well. Um, I tend to interspace these quite a lot. However, I'm going to make these walls a lot more ostentatious. Um, but what I'm going to do is said, start it simple, and then I'm going to make it more complicated. And trust me, you will like what I make, um, hopefully, unless you're mean. Um, so first we're going to put these ones on the outside, add a little bit of texture. And I guess I'll put this one here, just because... I'll sort of do it like... Uh. Um, often stuff will go red and you have to place it. Uh, for those who don't know, that's just because it's where your camera is looking. So if you just sort of move yourself... That's fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. And we'll do the fences. And again, trust me, it is going to get way more complex. Um, oh, why are those so low? Why are them so low? That's better. I thought they looked a bit weird. I was like, wait a minute, they're not that low down. <laughs> Let's see if I can push that back a little bit. Uh, this is a gap. I won't put that one in. I'll just put another one of these normal fences in. Okay. So, the first thing of kind of like a best practice to use... God, I hate that sound with a fiery pressure. Um, but a best practice to use is um, to never use repeating textures when you're making... If you want something to look scrappy, um, to never use repeating textures. If you ever looked at my settlements, I basically... No wall piece looks the same. But what you're going to see in a sec is a lot of... 
techniques and little so little little methods. So first and foremost, this is my simple junk walls that I like to do. I basically alternate between these. I'll often put um, and a good kind of tactic actually, if you're getting into some awkward terrain, is to put these watchtowers in basically because they can be sunk around they're quite good at like if you've got a little bit of a sloped side um to one of the sides of your camp but you can sort of put these instead uh, and i do like them don't worry it's going to get quite complex and fancy in a sec i'm just going to do this section first for the sake of demonstrating what my i guess my vanilla junk walls look like and then with these what i like to do is i just like to add bits to them um so kind of these fences tend to be a good shout um, but also, you can make things a little bit more ostentatious, but we'll just put these there for now. Yeah, get in. Okay. Um, again, not finished, don't panic. Right, and then in the wall section, you can pop these bits here. So two things that I use in the wall section um, are these. Haunted House window boards. Um, they are always available on Halloween. However, they do come back quite often. So don't worry about that. And then these window boards here. And then these new ones, which are windowed metal bars, which are just absolutely glorious and just kind of add this reinforced structure and texture to your walls. Right, anyway, let's do the fancy walls now. Okay. And um, also the fancy walls will help these walls as well and in bulking them up a bit more. So I've been playing around and I've made a few different kinds of walls now. Where is the defenses tab? Good Lord. Okie dokie. Um, so first and foremost, these fences here. Now, these are an absolute nightmare, and don't worry, that does look really weird. Um, I haven't finished it. What I do is I then blueprint that, and I can actually then place it down. Um, I'll get to it in a sec, but you can place those down. I don't want to spill the others. And there are th three different others? Now, the reason why I'm showing this part first is I want to show you all of the, the frames. And then I'll show you how I can make a interact with these frames. So another one is this one. Uh, you want to use the second one. This is the encampment set. Again, this will be regularly on the Atom Store, which looks like that. And you don't have to move. They'll just stack on each other. Um, these ones do have that flashing texture. So just bear that in mind. Um, these ones you can't blueprint for whatever reason. They just don't let you place them. However, it's not really that much of an issue because of how easy they are to place down. And then I've got two more, which are these ones, um, which is the gate, which is why it's not a thing, not the gate, the fence. Right, that one, this one you can blueprint. And then this one. Now, there's a really funny thing, right? So this is the best one. And you may think, well, what it, it again, I'm not finished. We're going to actually add layers. The reason why this one is better, and it's why it makes me giggle in the fact that there's clearly not a standardized way that a lot of these assets are created this is awesome for an unexpected reason and i'm going to demonstrate what it is okay so now i've blueprinted everything that i can show you my blueprints um so let's grab that one then i'll show you why that one's cool and this one is less cool and where's the other one yeah. okay, cool. yeah, but, but, um i can go to wealth uh... i'm so blind also, I've clearly not been. See, I can't place it there like that. Can't place it there like that. But this one I can. So I can actually put boards and stuff on these already, right? And that's really helpful, because that means I can actually add texture to these. But what makes these barbed wire fences so good is I can also do this. Um, God, I can't see. I'm so blind. They snap onto other walls. Um, apparently not that one, because I put it too close to there. I'm actually way on the edge. <laughs> But I can set them up one second. And let me actually go back to my blueprints. I'll actually attach this one. We'll put it here like this. I'm going to temporarily take that out because it'll get in the way. And then I can snap them. There we go. And the reason why that's good is that one, it adds a bit more texture onto that thing. But also, I can now... Uh, do this. I kind of prefer this one actually, it's a little bit less in your face. Let's put that one there like that. I don't know, I love these little metal things. They're so cool. 
And suddenly I've got a nice little hammered, nailed, and welded together junky wool. And that's sort of what I've done. I use these barbed wire fences to help these ones be able to stick stuff together. So I'm just now going to build a load of walls. I can also use the recent town now that I've got everything up. Uh, can I get you in there? I should probably get you in there. Yeah. Oh, just as a note, for whatever reason, you can't blueprint these with that stuff attached. Uh, for whatever reason, just the, the it just keeps thinking they're floating, basically. I might have to move this one out temporarily and then move this one back in. But let's, we'll play around and we'll make some more. Can I get in here? There we go. Cool. Shall I shove you in here like this? Gorgeous. Right, so let's make some fences. So I really enjoyed just playing around with the different designs of fences with this. Let's put this one on now. We'll do the uh, we'll do the framework first. So we'll put another one of these here like this. Actually, let's use this one. It is a little bit nicer. This is arguably the best base frame, I think. To be honest, the others um, not so much. Um, and also, just bear in mind as well. Just don't forget to interspace still with other Star Wars, so you're not always using the same ones. I like what I've just literally done, because I'm a twat. Uh -huh. Absolutely love making junk walls. Just ugh. my kingdom for junk walls. Oh yeah, of course. Because I haven't actually used the wooden one yet. And some, what great, what's great about this is it's not actually very build budget heavy, to be honest, in the grand scheme of things. It's not, like, light, um, but you can make something, especially if you're like me, where you kind of maybe using a prefab. Uh, which one have I only got one of? I've got one of those, one of those. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll do the encampment, obviously. The encampment one is a mixed bag. The only slight issue with the encampment one is it's quite big. But what I might do is instead see if I can live on live dangerously and actually maybe make something different with the encampment one. Pop you there like that. It would be nice if they gave us more of these kind of more half walls because they're very good at filling gaps. We'll sort that section out. So so far we've got the, the framework of um some suitably scrappy walls. Okie dokie, so let's now just sort of, see look at it, I love it. But often this one won't start to the top one, and don't worry about that at all. I might have to, you know, literally not fit me. Gorgeous. But these are so good, because basically putting these down enable you to basically snap things to them. Um, again, it's just because there's probably like a team of people who make these things, and whoever made these put a little bit of effort um, into actually making them work. <laughs> so thank you to whoever that person is. Um, and to other people, I am going to find you. And I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to beat you. Well, I'm not actually. I'm just going to glare at you and probably not confront you. God, I love making jungles so much. <laughs> I love it. It just makes me happy. And I like these new techniques I've made because they just, they'll just add a little bit more variance to what you're using. I'm not going to use that one because I don't want it to repeat. Um, these junk fence, these encampment fences are actually good to put on the outside as well. Um, you might say I was going to do with that one, like basically put the long window board piece but again you don't want to kind of repeat textures too much you want it to look like they've just basically made this with every piece of scrap metal they can find nearby that's the whole vibe and bear in mind as well i'm what 14 minutes in and a lot of that is me just waffling so you can make this stuff quite quickly and quite satisfying I tend to use the encampment fences if I can't be asked to make these ones. Oh no, because that repeatedly can't have that. Can't have that. They 
ladies and gentlemen. Shut up. I hate that sound. Lovely jubbly. Let's... I actually really, really like these ones a lot. Um... I kind of wish I'd done a video on these sooner because I don't think they're available in the app store right now as of this video going live. However, um, keep an eye out for them, basically. Can I? Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Um, right, I could do more. Let's just pop a little gate on the front here. Look at that. Look at that. I fucking love making jump walls. <laughs> what do you do? What did you do uh, Saturday night, David? I uh, made some jump walls, fam. Oh, it was pretty good, yeah. It's alright. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Just making junk walls as I am wont to do. Um, let's also add a little bit of texture to this wall so it's not the same. God, I love it. Love making junk walls. Is that all of them? Oh, there's this one as well. This one can have that there. And that there, like that. And gorgeous! Look at that! It took me, what, for the entire video, about 16, 15, 16 minutes. And there you have kind of like quite a satisfying collection of very, very junky walls that don't actually look similar to each other at all. What I like about these, and kind of my go-to now for my camps, is to kind of combine these with some kind of small prefab. I could have made it a bit bigger, so like for example, in this instance I'd probably use... I mean actually this would probably fit in quite nicely. I was thinking the... Uh... Oh, budget succeeded. Good time. Let's quickly delete this stuff. Don't mind me everyone. Yes, I could have done this before the video. No, I didn't think that far ahead. Oh, you absolutely love to see it. So yeah, anyway, that is how you make very, very law-friendly and very, very satisfying, very, very scrappy jungles. You can take these to the next level as well by, for example, I like putting bathtubs, toilets, just kind of general junk debris around them if you want it to look like they've just kind of dragged everything. Um, let's get a nice picture of that, actually. Oof. But yeah, no, um, obviously this does require you having some Atom Store stuff, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. but generally just I just keep an eye out for what they've got available. At the very least, that gatehouse technique is very, very handy, and for example, some of these wooden fences are vanilla, so you could try and other different techniques and using the wooden fence as kind of a stock and then just kind of adding them on. But yeah, I hope that gave you some ideas. Um, I absolutely love making junk fences, so I do think of other stuff that can do, that I can do uh, that drops in the app store. I will obviously make a video on it. As always, follow me on Instagram, not Twitter, because it may be dying. Well, you can follow me on Twitter, but follow me on Instagram because I've been using that a lot more recently. Uh, I post lots of stories and I'm actually literally going to be doing some painting in a sec so I might actually have some Warhammer stuff uh, hopefully tomorrow for you to see pretty pictures of. I'm also going to be streaming a bit of Fallout New Vegas tomorrow so if that is your bag please tune in and otherwise you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. You take care.